All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is 05 notes, variables on both sides. Objective today, you'll be able to solve equations with variables on both sides. So in the past, we solved a lot of equations so far, but now variables are, will be on both sides of the equal sign in the equation. We're still going to use the inverse operations that we've been using to isolate this variable, meaning the opposite of addition is subtraction. The opposite of subtraction is addition. The opposite of multiplication is division, and the opposite of division is multiplication. All right, so for example, example number one, we have negative 3x plus 1x is equal to negative 6x minus 12. So what we're going to do here first is that we're going to first combine like terms. This negative 3x plus this 1x, those two can be combined together. Negative 3 plus 1 gets us negative 2. x. Then on the other side, we have negative 6x minus 12. Now to move an entire term from one side equal sign to the other, in this case, we're going to do the opposite. So negative 6x. The opposite is plus 6x, that's the inverse operation. So we add 6x to both sides. And we're going to get 4x is equal to negative 12. Divide both sides by 4, and we're going to get x equals negative 3. That's how you solve for x. Here's all the steps once again, and then I wrote out in words all the steps there. Example number two. I got 3n plus 7 is equal to 13 plus 4n. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides first. So we have 3n on the left side. 13 minus 7 gets us 6. The reason why I put that minus 7 underneath 13 because those are like terms. They could be combined. And I carry down my plus 4n. The next step is I'm going to subtract 4n from both sides. So 3 minus 4 gets us negative 1. n is equal to 6. We then divide both sides by negative 1. So we get n equals negative 6. As you see there. Number 3. x plus 1 equals 2 plus 3x minus 7 plus 6. I'm going to first combine like terms on the right hand side. Positive 2 minus 7 gets you negative 5. And negative 5 plus 6 gets you 1. So on the right hand side we got 3x plus 1. Because we combined our like terms. 2, negative 7. And 6. I carry down the 1x plus 1. I then subtract 1x from both sides. So I get 1 equals 2x plus 1. I then subtract 1 from both sides. So we get 0 equals 2x. Divide both sides by 2 we're going to get x equals 0. Remember 0 is a number. It's okay if x equals 0. That's not a problem. Example number 4. In example number 4, we have negative 7 minus 3x is equal to 1 plus x. So we do our inverse operations. I'm going to move this negative 3x to the other side of the equal sign, and I do that by doing the inverse, the opposite. So the opposite of minus 3x is plus 3x. So I add 3x to both sides. So we have negative 7 is equal to 1 plus 4x. And then subtract 1 from both sides. So we get negative 8 is equal to 4x. 
and then we divide by 4 to both sides. So we get x equals negative 2. This is example number 5. I'm going to move this negative 1x to the other side. So I'm going to add 1x. So we get 2 minus 1x equals negative 5. The reason why the negative 1x and the positive 1x, they cancel out. The opposite of plus 2 is minus 2, so I subtract 2 from both sides. So we get negative 1x is equal to negative 7, because negative 5 minus 2 gets you negative 7. I then divide by negative 1 to both sides, and I get x equals 7. That's the answer to number 5. Example number 6. That's 6 on both sides. Negative 2n plus 6n gets you a positive 4n. Subtract 1 from both sides. You get negative 12 is equal to 4n. Divide both sides by 4, we get n equals negative 3. Number 7. I'm going to move this negative 2a's to the other side. So it's all positive because I like working on positive numbers. So I add 2a. So I get 3a plus 5 is equal to negative 10 because the po positive 2a and the negative 2a, they cancel out. I subtract 5 from both sides. And we get 3a is equal to negative 15. Divide both sides by 3 and you get x, or not x, a is equal to negative 5. Alright, so there's some problems here that might have no solution or many solutions. Now, if we get answers that say 6 equals 7, well, we know that's not true. So we call that no solution. When two numbers that we know are not equal to each other, but in our equation they come out to be equal to each other, then we write no solutions. If the same number or the same set of terms is on the left side of the equal sign as it is on the right, meaning they're matching on the both sides, that's considered to be many solutions or all real numbers. Let's do a couple examples of those. So example number 8 here. I have 8 plus 8r minus 2. What I'm going to first do, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. So add 2 here and add 2 here. And what that does, that eliminates those two. So we have 8 plus 8r equals 8r. I then subtract 8r from both sides. And we're going to get 8 equals 0. Now, does 8 equal 0? Nah, that doesn't work. So in this case, this is going to be no solutions. That's one example of no solutions. When a number equals another number, when you know that's not true. 8 does not equal 0. Let's try number 9 here. So we add 2a to both sides. Those cancel out and they cancel out. So we have 1 equals 7. Now we know 1 equals 7, that's not possible. So we write no solutions. SOLN dot is good enough for solutions. 
Let's look at number 10. Negative 10 plus 5 plus 1. Well, those numbers added together got us negative 4. So we have v minus 4 is equal to v minus 4. Now we see that the left-hand side is exactly the same as it is on the right-hand side. So that means it's all real numbers, or there's many solutions. So anytime the left-hand side matches up with the right-hand side, you have many solutions, just like you see here. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or come to Extra Help. I'll be happy to help you out. All right, have yourself a nice night.